Hey, what's up, guys? Pierce Visions here today with a new video. And first thing I'd like to say is sorry if you can hear my fan in the background. It is really fucking hot right now in California. It's like 95 or something fucking stupid. So sorry about that, but I'm I'm not gonna um you know die from dehydration or you know heat e exposure too much heat. So anyway, on to the video. What this video is about is basically my overall review for Mob of the Dead now. I have played a lot of Mob of the Dead. I've been to 30 twice on it, and I've been to 20 probably more times than I can count on both of my hands. Um, this map is really good. Now, if you haven't played it and you're kind of on the fence on it, this is going to be a good review for you. Um, I'm pretty much going to tell you the pros and cons of this map. It's, it's pretty... It's okay. It's old school zombies, but new, if that makes any sense whatsoever. It feels like original zombies. Die Rise, Transit. If you're a zombies player from World at War, Black Ops, um, you know, starting with starting off on Black Ops even, you should know that, um, you know, Transit, Die Rise, they didn't feel original zombies. Uh, there's just something about them that didn't feel like original, and uh, it was kind of a, a downfall. I, you know, I have five days on zombies, but not not because I enjoyed it, just because of Easter eggs, and, you know, I'm a, I'm a huge zombie fan, and I have every achievement for Mob of the Dead. If you don't believe me, I'll put a picture up right now, and, and um, you can see all that. The last achievement I got was Electric Cherry, um, and you, as you can see, I don't know what date I got it, I believe it was um, the 18th or something like that, or the 20th, but... I've gotten every single achievement for Mob of the Dead, so I, I know this map. I've played it a lot. Um, one of the cool things about this map is if you're a Zombies fan, you know you like the zombie music. You know, there's that certain song, Easter Egg song in Zombies, and it just goes really well with Zombies. Well, Treyarch's put two of them in this. One of them is a Johnny Cash song, and the other one is um, from written by Kevin Shearwood, but sung by a girl, not uh, Alina Siegman. But, um... That song is the best one. The, the Johnny Cash one is, uh, it just it doesn't feel zombies. And if you're a zombies fan and you like the music, you, you'll know what I mean when you hear it on here. It just doesn't feel like a zombies song. It doesn't give you that, uh, I want to fucking kill zombies kind of feel, you know? Um, other than that, the new things that are on this map are Afterlife. Um, and it, it'll be in the later in this video that I have that. But, um... Uh, add acid to your wonder weapon. Now, if you um, have played zombies before, you know that there's a pack a punch to upgrade your weapons. But um, in this map, your wonder weapon has something else, and you can add acid to your blunder gat or your upgraded blunder gat, which is a sweeper, and it puts acid on it. And it basically sticks to the zombies, and it's like monkeys, and it will track the zombies to it and then blow the fuck up. And I use it uh, once, I show it a bunch in here. Um, it's, it's my other weapon, so you should see it. Other things that are new, um, the Golden Spork, which is ties into something I talk about later. It's just uh, you do some Easter egg stuff, and you'll get the Golden Spork. It's a bit... Um, it's awesome. I mean, it's one hit kill till round 33, and then after that it's two hits till God knows what round. Um, it, it is pretty awesome. Uh, the strategy I'm using right here is, uh, you know... I'm just trying to knife them all. Right here, I'm, I'm actually uploading a video, or making a video as I was playing right here, so multitasking for the win, baby. The next thing is the Hell's Retriever. If you look at the bottom of my screen, when it shows my HUD, eventually you'll see there's a little uh, red tomahawk. That's the Hell's Retriever. I'm sure you guys know what that is. It's a, This map is honestly... Um, the easiest map in zombie history. Now, most of you may know Ascension was a super, super, super easy map. Um, well, not super easy. It was easy, okay? This map, uh, it was easy because you could run circles on Ascension. That was the problem. This one, um, there's more complex circles in this. As Ascension was just simple circles. These are more complex figure eights, U-shaped circles. Um, but this map is easy as in the weaponry that you can get makes it easy. Not that the map itself design is easy. The map design itself is actually really complex and claustrophobic um, at certain parts. But um, 
you know, with this weaponry, it, it really kind of balances out and it ends up being an easy map. But that's not a bad thing. It adds to the longevity of the map. Like, Ascension is my favorite um, map to date. And uh, it pr partly because, you know, if maps are easy, you can continue to get those high scores and continue and go up and up and up. And you, you know you can get higher, so you can just continue and continue and continue to do it. And um, that's why this map is really awesome. Uh, Die Rise was extremely difficult. Um, actually, not extremely. I think Die Rise was difficult, and I think Transit was extremely difficult. Um, Transit uh, is the worst map in Zombies history, in my opinion. Um, Die Rise is, uh, you know, so-so. The hidden weapons and mini Easter eggs um, in this map also adds to the effect of it. Um, the mini easter eggs like the golden spork, the hell's retriever, and getting the blunder get a second blunder gat from the table, um, from doing parts of the easter egg, really adds to the map. It's not just as simple as, you know, you go hit the box and you get some amazing weapon. You have to work towards these weapons, which is something new to zombies. Um, besides Call of the Dead, I believe you could get the, um, the wonder weapon from completing the easter egg. But other than that, that was the only map. Now this one has three different things, three different weapons you can get. Uh, one of them you can get out of the box, but this gives you a second one um, for someone else on the map, which is really cool and adds to the overall map itself. Overall, this is a great map. Um, this map got me back into zombies, got me back into wanting to play zombies, and um, one thing I want to talk about is this: the design of this map has great camping spots as well as complex circles like I said before right here uh, is kind of a camping spot there's tons of camping spots on this map if you open certain doors and do it the right way and then like I said there's really complex circles unless you're running on the Golden Gate Bridge which is um is like a big circle like Ascension but this map design really caters to both styles of players who like to camp and who like to run but like I said it's really claustrophobic as far as the map design is really enclosed spaces as you can see here lots of things you can get stuck on or in a corner get stuck but it adds to the map and you just have to be you just have to know your way around the map and know what you're doing another thing is going to pack a punch which I'm, which I'm getting ready to do here is no longer just a simple event that is easy to do it's something you have to work towards and something that you have to basically plan out or you could kill yourself um, you know, we're going on round 26, but we have the Golden Spork, so it's semi-safe. But I'm telling you guys, going to Pack-a-Punch is not something simple anymore, which is awesome. Um, now it's, you know, it's something that is an event more than just, I'm going to walk up and put my gun in here. It's something that you have to work towards. So I think it once again adds to the map. The downfall of the, the bad things of, of this map that gave it an uh, 8 out of 10 score, which I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10, is the, e the ending to the Easter Egg is very disappointing. Um, the steps leading up to the Easter Egg are awesome, but the ending of the Easter Egg itself is uh, a huge disappointment. I know a lot of people um, who aren't huge zombie fans think it's a great ending because it ends the game, da 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 da, you've completed something. No, that, that's, not what, um, that's not what I want. I don't want to speak for every zombie player, but I have a feeling most of them want to have, you know, those, to ha get all the perks at the end. It gives you a reason to continue to do the Easter egg every single game. Unlike this, there is no reason to finish the whole Easter egg. You can do a few steps and get your blunder gat, and get your golden spork and be done with it. Um, so a huge disappointment as the ending of the Easter egg. And another disappointment is some parts of this map are very frustrating as far as um, if you're trying to go somewhere you can get easily stuck in a, in a corner so some parts of the map are frustrating the boss is not a huge deal guys um, if you have not played the map and you're thinking it's another George it's not he's super easy to kill and overall I give this map an 8 out of 10 it is a great map and if you're looking to buy this map and you're an old zombie player I highly recommend it and if you're a new zombie player you know give it a try I think you'll enjoy it, and um, honestly, if this was the only map in the map pack, I would buy it, because honestly, I haven't been playing the multiplayer maps, I've been stuck on this. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoy this video, and I hope you guys enjoy this map like I do. Peace out.